it's painful to make this video. So I'll just jump into the video really quickly. We got some um, terrible news happening. And it's almost the 50th anniversary of the Immaculate Reception. By the way, I'm back. <laughs> After like a long hiatus from like August. You might catch me on the Dunkin' channel. I haven't posted that in a long time, but I'll explain that in a different video. But we got some absolutely terrible news. And it was first reported by the Pro Football Hall of Fame. They say, we are saddened to share the news that Pro Football Hall of Fame or Franco Harris has passed away at the age of 72. Hashtag Hall of Fame forever. So, if you're not catched up by him, basically he was a, um, a fullback or running back for the Pittsburgh Steelers, and he was the guy who did the um, immaculate reception. He played for the Steelers from 1972 to 1983, before spending one more season in Seattle in 1984, and then retired. He has the golden jacket in his um, career. <laughs> so yeah, he does have the golden jacket. So I'm going to highlight the place here, like here's the, so Terry Bradshaw was running and it was throwing and then it was broken up by Jake Tatum, Jack Tatum, I mean, oh my god, and Franco Harris caught it and you'll see a picture here, I don't know how he caught it, or a video here, so he caught it basically and he just ran it in for a touchdown and that's how he became a Hall of Famer. And we got some people who were reporting on the sadness. Like the Pittsburgh Steelers said, it is difficult to find the appropriate words to describe Franco Harris's impact on the Pittsburgh Steelers, his teammates, the state of Pittsburgh, and the Steelers nation. From his rookie season, which included the Immaculate Reception through the next 50 years, Franco brought joy to people on and off the field. He never stopped giving back in so many ways. He touched so many, and he was loved by so many. Our thoughts and prayers are with his wife Dana, his son Doik, and his extended family at this difficult time. And this was from R. Rooney II, who is the president for the Pittsburgh Steelers right now. And then there was another report, this time from the NFL. They say this, We are heartbroken to hear about the passing of four-time Super Bowl champion, Hall of Famer, and the man behind the Immaculate Reception, Franco Harris. Our thoughts are with his family and loved ones during this difficult time. Franco's legacy and impact will live on forever. It was very difficult making this video. Like it was very difficult making how Jeff Gladney passed away all the way back in May. And then two days later, Marion Barber passes away. And then 20 days later, Jalen Ferguson passes away. And now we got another guy who's dead. That's like bigger than um, John Madden passing away last year on December 28th, 2021. That's almost the one year anniversary since we lost John Madden. But I'll be making a video on that. i um, highlighting what he's done over his commentary career and his coaching career with the Raiders. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Welcome back and yep, bye.